Sunday morning. It's time for morning manna. And I got a word for you on this morning. And in five minutes or less, I want to share with you, how do you live in the life that you're having when one side is going well and another side of you is not going so well? How many of you know what I'm talking about? It's always going to be the text, the talk, and the takeaway. What do I do when one season in my life is banging, baby, and the other season in my life is blowing up? Just absolutely horrible. How do I make it in that situation? The text, the talk, the takeaway. Three things I'm going to share with you from the text. Here's the text, Galatians 6 and 9. Let us not become weary in doing good. But in due season, if we faint not, we will reap what we sow. If we faint not, we will reap what we sow in due season. What do I do when I'm in the middle of two different seasons? The first thing you need to do, the first thing you need to do when, when the job is going well, but relationships are horrible, when my finances are outstanding, but my physical life, I don't know what's wrong with me. They can't, they can't figure it out. You ever been there? You ever been there in a situation where one side of you is going so well and another side is just completely horrible? The first thing you need to do is focus on the good season. Focus on the good season. Look at what God is doing in your life. Our tendency is to only look at what is going wrong. The tendency is, is for us to look at the things that are not going so well and become preoccupied with all of the things that are not going well. No, you focus in on what is going well, the good season in your life. Everybody has something going on in their lives. Focus in on the good part. The second thing is apply the faith that brought you into the good season. Apply that faith to the bad season. In other words, you see what God is doing in this area of your life. Now, know that because he's doing what he's doing in that area of your life, he can do equally as well in the other areas of your life that are not going so well. That the manifestation of the faith that causes the good things to happen can also manifest faith to turn the bad things around. Here's the third thing. The third thing that what do I do when I'm in a dual season situation? You ever been in that? Have it been into like, seem like, okay, it, it ought to be summer right now, but it's a little chill in the air. It ought to be cold right now, but it's still warm in December. That's how life turns out to be. Man, it ought to be snowing in January, but the sun is shining. Life is like that. The third thing is this. In time, the good season will filter over to the bad season. Give it some time. What does it say? The word says that don't be weary in doing good, but at the proper time in due season, you will reap if you faint not. If you just don't faint, if you don't give up. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. Life runs on dual tracks. Accept that reality. Also understand, pay more attention to the positive than the negative. More attention to the positive than the negative. And watch God bring out a harvest in due season. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manner. Don't keep it to yourself. Share the manner. Don't be greedy. Bye now.